Hey folks, uh, let's take a quick look at how to create scorecards out of your web intelligence documents. Uh, here, what you're seeing on my screen right now is uh, actually a scorecard that I've created from a table with three columns. And it's basically showing uh, a color green or red on the uh, sign here, which is uh, based on a particular conditional formatting that I've applied. I'll quickly show you what I have done to achieve this. So here is my report. So for this particular column, I mean, you have year, month, and then sales. For the sales, I've applied a formatting, uh, the conditional formatting. I left the name as conditional format. And uh, the for rule says that if the sales is less than 40, then uh, display it in red, the sales in red. And if the sales is greater than 40, then display it in green. I've set check marked here and show that conditional formatting is being applied here. And what you need to do for it to work is uh, just make sure uh, the block name is specified uh, as per uh, what you see here on the right hand side. It says in this particular case SCTTC3R. So it's scorecard trend traffic. Uh, for the third column and displayed on the right hand side by right hand side what i mean is you know display this little uh, green and red sign on the right hand side uh, so if i right click on this table and go to format table you will see that the block name is being specified as sc tt c 3 r and it has to please keep in mind that it has to start with a semicolon and uh, that's all you need to do and here what I have given right here is actually nothing but just an explanation of what that block name stands for so again scorecard trend traffic column 3 um, right if instead of R you were to specify L which would stand for left then these uh, signs green and red signs that you see will show up on the left hand side now let me show you another example uh, I will take the trend arrow so here what I'm doing is uh, based on the sales of uh, I'll start from the bottom based on the sales on the previous month if the sales in the current month is or in the lower month is uh, going in the negative direction that is if the sales is less then we're going to display a red arrow uh, showing a downward trend and uh, as you see in this example of the ninth month if it is higher compared to the previous month we're going to show a green arrow which is going to indicate an upward trend and here is the table which I have used to achieve that. Uh, so year, month and sales. And uh, the conditional formatting on this one says uh, it's actually the trend format. So I go to manage rules, trend format, edit. It says if sales is greater than previous sales. Uh, previous sales is nothing but just a variable that I'll show you that variable quickly. But uh, if sales is greater than previous sales, then... Uh, the color is green and if sales is less than previous sales uh, and then the color is red but, uh, previous sales here uh, it's nothing but uh, previous uh, sales from the previous row basically and uh, what I have done for that is applied the block name as SC TA uh, C3L so basically uh, scorecard trend arrow column 3 L again here I have specified left uh, if I had given right the arrows would have shown up on the right hand side of sales here since it's left it's showing on the left hand side again SCTAC3L keep in mind that it has to start with a semicolon uh, one thing though that I have noted here is uh, for the first uh, row even though uh, here it is black because there is no previous row to compare uh, when you see it in the scorecard it's uh, going to show up as green uh, I think it's going to show up that way uh, or probably I need to do a little more research to see if that can be avoided uh, I'm going to show a third example uh, by the way I'm going to put down the uh, uh, different options that you could name your block name as uh, based on what I've got from the SAP document uh, and I'll put the link to the document also soon. Now I'm going to go to what's called microcharts. Uh, so 
what you see here is a table which has actually quite a few columns and I'm displaying two micro charts. The first one here that you see in gray color is displaying what is the percentage of the total sales uh, that sweaters make up. Sweaters make up 35% of the total sales. Um, the jackets make up 9% of the total sales and that's what the uh, gradient fill actually you see that gray part I mean 35% of it is filled up 8% 9% and so on is filled up and what you see on the right hand side further is another gradient micro uh, another micro chart actually which is supposed to show a monthly trend I do not have very clean data so it doesn't necessarily show you uh, what exactly is happening but let me quickly go to the table and uh, let's look at sweaters okay I'll explain the table also to you uh, if you look at sweaters you will see please come up okay if you look at sweaters you will see that it's 19 17 19 it's kind of going up and down and you know down up again down and then again up down up and again down so if you look at the micro chart you'll see that up down up down trend and if you were to look at for example leather uh, leather you'll kind of see it's almost consistent around 11 10 10 all these are 10 so if you look at this one it's kind of staying steady so that's what it's showing the trend based on all the months so I have uh, one to eight months I've just narrowed it down to make the report run faster on this test server of mine uh, in this particular case actually uh, there are two block I mean two uh, formats that I have specified each separated by a semicolon the first one is SCGFC3 and the second one is SLGFSalesC4211. Uh, what it is is explained down here. Uh, the first one is SCGFC3 which is scorecard gradient fill column 3. So basically uh, this column 3 is uh, I want a gradient fill uh, on that on the column 3. Uh, keep in mind it has to be a percentage and that is what you're seeing here the gradient fill 34 8 9 and so on and the second part says uh, score line uh, gradient fill uh, object name which is actually sales in this case so if I click on this you'll see it sales it's a cross tab basically and uh, column 4 to 11 column 4 to 11 is basically all the way from year to year and it's going to display that as a micro chart here and that's what you're seeing on the right hand side uh, one thing I have to keep in mind is in my reports I have displayed these footers ideally you do not want those footers so that you don't see these blank rows uh, or the header for that matter and uh, that is all you need uh, I will try and post a link to the document uh, uh, which talks of all these and I'll down here I'll also put the various options that are available and uh, uh, that's it. Hope this information was helpful. I'll try and put a few more examples. Uh, have fun. And yeah, by the way, uh, before you rush into it, uh, keep in mind that there are some limitations like, you know, for example, uh, you can't use uh, uh, input controls and sections and breaks and all those things. So I spent a few, try, few minutes trying and doing the input controls till I realized or till I read this. So I'll try and post a link to this SAP document also. Uh, uh, have fun. Uh, thank you uh, very much folks. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, comments if any will be appreciated. Thank you and have a great day or great evening ahead.